too many new photographers get the terms high key and low key lighting mixed up and it's not actually that hard. So this is why we've got a few tips to help you kind of work out those confusing terms. So it's actually a lot easier than you think to understand these terms. We see a lot of the times people getting the idea of low key lighting and a high key lighting mixed up. So we're gonna go through some really simple and clear ways of remembering what high key lighting is and what low key lighting is and all the different features that they come with. So we'll start off with some really simple mnemonics, some just some little kind of quick ways of remembering this high key and low key um, term. So to start off, if you think of high key really needing a high amount of light, a large amount of light, uh, sunshine would probably be one of the best sources of light to use, but high key generally re re relies on having a large bank of lighting hitting your subject. On the opposite side, low key needs a very small amount of light. So you're thinking of that kind of high type of lighting and that low type of lighting should separate the two elements to begin with. So again, low key lighting uses a small amount of light to illuminate your subject. It's much more about shadows than it is about light. So if it's not totally clear, then let's try and explain it a slightly different way. If you think of the words high and low as in colors, so high, it almost kind of connotes the idea of it being a bright, loud color, something like white. And if you have a look at a high key photograph, you'll see it is predominantly bright, not always necessarily white, but it's certainly a lot brighter than standard key or low key photographs. So think high, think bright, think light. On the opposite side, if you think in low, you think in darker, you think in blacks, and that's where the shadows creep in. So blacks will always kind of fill your shadow detail, and that's really what you'd be looking to kind of encourage and get more into in your low key shots. So high for white, black for low. So we already know that high key lighting is bold and it's bright. It's gonna conceal most of the shadows and really bathe your whole subject in light. So the easiest way to do that is with sunlight. So if you head outdoors on a sunny day and position your subjects so they're facing the sun, you'll notice there's only a couple of shadows maybe under their nose and chin, but otherwise that's it. With your subject pose, meet your exposure and maybe open your aperture one stop wider to overexpose your shot. This will hide any other potential shadows and focus the bright highlights. The simplest way to do this is maybe to shoot at home in a bedroom. If you kind of block out all the ambient light, just close the curtains and just leave maybe a little gap of light through the door and it just sends that ray of light onto your subject. Low key light should reveal and disguise the subject at the same time. Hiding some parts makes it seems a little bit sinister, whereas revealing features helps frame the story. Now, low key lighting will be awash with shadows. The long gradual transition from light to dark, that's what signifies low key lighting. The longer the transition, the more low key it is. The shorter the transition, the more high key it is. So there we go, all done. Hopefully that's made it a little bit easier for you to understand those confusing terms. Just don't feel embarrassed if you did kind of misunderstand them to begin with. Lots of people do, and this is why we made the video. There are lots of confusing terms out there in photography, so don't even start us as to why a wide aperture is referred to as a small f-stop number. There's a lots of different kind of conflictions there, but hopefully, as I said, it's sorted out. If you've enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button. If you want to know a little bit more about high and low key lighting, we've got some fully detailed and dedicated blogs. Uh, we'll put the links in the description down below so you can read a little bit more at your own pace. So you can find us all over Facebook and other social media platforms if you want to send us your high and low key lighting shots. But the best place for us to see your photographs is the iPhotography Gallery. Obviously, if you're not a member already, then again, we've got the details below in the description for you to join up. Until the next video, we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.